Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Royal Lyra Nation of our Lion Kingdom of Nu, Lemuria. Happy New Moon and Mighty Leo and Powerful 7-7 seven, seven Galactic Portal. With the Sun, Moon, and Venus all in Leo, we have massive fire energy of the Divine Goddess of Venus and the Solar Christos Sophia energetics flowing into the quantum field from the Most High. This empowering new moon in Leo the Lion is calling in the sacred keys and codes of the rebirth of our Lemurian and Atlantean timelines for the transformation of this realm into the paradise she has always evolved to be. With these intense energies pulsing in from the great central sun, we had a big spike of white light on the Schumann charts at an amplitude of 51 hertz, fifth dimensional resonance anchoring in. Pachamama also received a massive activation on the Ring of Fire today with a magnitude 6.5 earthquake in Vanuatu at 1247 UTC, very deep at a depth of 192 kilometers. Our local Solaris also released a C-class solar flare maxing at C 3.3 at 1357 UTC, bridging in the twin trinity codes of divine union as the eagle and condor fully anchor in the codes of unconditional love, abundance, peace, and prosperity for all our good people of the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep the love alive as the holy fire burns from within, as the divine goddess of the holy waters merges with the divine masculine of the Holy Spirit to bring our pure land of eternal life into this ascension timeline, to free all sentient beings from the wheel of samsara, and live the life of infinite light for all eternity. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree for protection. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 1 degree 56 minutes Virgo. The sun is at 24 degrees Leo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 25 degrees Leo. A large camel crossing a vast and forbidding desert. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 2 degrees Virgo. A large white cross dominating the landscape stands alone on top of a high hill from astrologyweekly.com and from divine brother of the light tibetan buddhist master chamtru rinpoche true success is not measured by the amount of money and material possessions that you have accumulated true success is measured by the amount of wisdom and compassion that you have cultivated and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. Beautiful diamond plasma energy in the field today. You might feel a little bit of pressure as we move through this next gateway. And from Divine Broth or of the Light, Pars Kute. Within these Divine New Earth energies, we have now the ability to tap into the superconsciousness quantum field and transmit what is held at the Divine Source Consciousness, within Divine Love of One, Pars Kute. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Raylene Brady, All our knowledge has its origins in our perceptions, Leonardo da Vinci. If the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear to man as it is, infinite, for man has closed himself up until he sees all things through narrow chinks of his cavern. William Blake Honey is the new true earth currency. What is the gold standard that you are setting for yourself in this now? 
the whys are actualized cerebral spinal fluid liquid gold igniting innate gnosis and from divine cis star of the light shea from numbers by shea numerology eight sixteen twenty three you have always automatically arranged your reality so as to provide a more comfortable context for your current life always living in a state of adjustment while interpreting everything and assigning meaning this is important right now because you are as is everyone experiencing a shift in the big picture humanity science social and spiritual systems and the planet itself all reflect this massive expansion we are all in the hot seat but because of the power of perspective lies within you it's your response that matters so much today more towers come down more eyes are opened more ripples flow within higher consciousness your right action is to look beyond the obvious where nothing is being done to you but for you you are in transition from one state of being to another observe detach allow and from divine sister of the light marie josie garrison de Lange. another galactic gateway is opened with higher energy frequencies coming down to earth to expand our consciousness and initiate spiritual change this will affect each of us for example increasing spiritual gifts of knowing why we are incarnated on earth in these times but what is just as powerful right now and can affect you is the new moon a lot of anger can rise frustration and fatigue lack of sleep but also seeing more clearly the desire to start a new adventure you have to learn how to deal with all your emotions and go through it one at a time transmitting each one at a time and taking time to calm the mind in meditation this work requires putting certain things aside and caring more about yourself especially since you down here as a soul to evolve ascend august 16th new moon august 17th lion passage august 26th lion passage from marie josie medium dot com and from divine sis star of the light rod james happy new moon in leo we are also in a retrograde season this summer gives us seven planets retrograde that means you may still feel a little out of sorts pluto in retrograde until october 10th it is helping us to clear old power struggles it's meant to ultimately help you clear things and empower you helping you to take back your power saturn is retrograde until november 4th it's bringing up old karma to clear and heal it may be testing relationships neptune is retrograde until december 6th watch out for old narratives what we tell ourselves becomes our story and our reality venus is retrograde until september 3rd it's bringing up old love wounds expect a lot of healing and shifts around love and finances mercury is in a retro shade now and will be retrograde from august 23rd through september 15th it's bringing the past back you may need to go back to heal things from past relationships uranus is in a retro shade now and will be retrograde august 28th through january 27th 2024 expect major growth and change during this time jupiter will shift retrograde september 4th through december 30th this will be helping us to better plan out the moves that we are making helping us to lay down and plan the path ahead this is a period of deep inner work we are in until the autumn equinox tonight's leo new moon is an amazing time to be putting your intentions out there and to be manifesting and healing with expect big energies as we are exactly a week away from shifting into virgo season from sparks of divine light healing dot com from divine sister of the light erini crystal and indigo guide to the galaxy athens energy update uprooting and decompression message now it is all about the roots a hidden message get up and leave from where your roots were stuck and entangled 
You do not truly belong there. This was not who you truly are. You are a moving tree. Free yourself. Lift up your roots and walk. A great upgrade. As the uprooting of the lower chakras from the old 3D conditions, connections, and programmings is continuing, there are great realizations coming to the surface. Lifelong experiences, situations, events, ideas, and beliefs can now be seen clearly for what they were, inside a field of clarity and inner knowing. Roles and characters are understood for what they were, and one's previous personal, emotional, mental, and material needs are recognized, along with the previous reasons of false choices that are exposed. Layers and layers of imprinting false inner commands and conclusions are being stripped off, and the body is cooperating quite harmoniously in this process. Shedding light upon one's shadow. The previously invisible dynamics and roles in the relationships with the earthly mother and father are now felt and understood. Who was using who? The unconscious assumption of false roles was the cause of all pain, depression, dissatisfaction, and illness. There is more free space available on all levels as pressure is now leaving the system so it is easier for truth to be accepted, processed, and embodied. Pressure had created an underlying chronic state of craziness, agitation, panic, and paranoia, and illness upon the nervous system. Misleading one's perception and signals, cutting out one's access to many inner healthy functions, abilities, and choices. Remember that behind every anger, blame, and shame, there is always first fear present. The self is revealing the true nature and identity to the self. It is all about feeling truly safe as a living being in one's own existence. The old fear, pain, and frustration is being felt in order to leave once and for all. Message. Do you hear the calling? It is coming from the flow of your true DNA. It is your true lineage calling you to come out and align to the remembrance and the state of living safety of the true life. Remember that safety on all levels is a divine right. Exit the old paradigm where those who are moving the strings only work for maintaining lack of safety, and you will clearly recognize the old game that you have outgrown. Blessings of love to all, Erini, Hunama Anata Kumara. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn, 144 God Code. This week's Leo New Moon is opening up the doorway of our new earth possibilities through the quantum field. You have completed your shamanic initiations of fighting off the devil, just as Christ spent 40 days and 40 nights doing. The end of this show is here and necessary, as our role to do so could now be taken over by the Most High to manifest our new 5D physical reality through all space, time, and dimensions. You have been the pillar between the mental and emotional body, uniting them back whole as one. This was through fighting off the mind games and emotional heartache that has been attacking you since conception. You came here to reunite the mind and heart back together for your ascension into God's chariot, so you can travel into the new world of the age of Aquarius. Successfully this week you have conquered these challenges and won. Now we can rest, purify, heal, and integrate all the division, polarities, and opposites that kept the mind and heart separated. More truths are being revealed through the DNA strands this week. Ensure you make space to listen, receive, and take action on what you are being shown. Most of all, this information will be revealing how powerful and sovereign you are. There is no one outside of yourself that you have ever needed. It's simply you, God, and Spirit. Continue forward on the sacred pilgrimage through these truths and facts that are showing you the way forward into your new earth reality healthy, healed, and whole. The truth that has long been hidden is being revealed with today's Leo New Moon. 
These revelations are exactly what's needed to move on and away from the forces that have been against you. These forces could have been coming from the subconscious mind and DNA strands, which are detoxing for you to access your fruit. This is successfully accomplishing, uniting the mind and heart back together. From what starts today in the quantum will materialize between the equinox and solstice. Release the rest to the Most High, take over and complete this on your behalf. You can direct your energy towards healing, self-expression, creativity, and movement until then. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godco.com And today from Guided by Spirit. Hello on this micro new moon in Leo Day. The moon is at its furthest from us, so it is called a micro moon. A brand new cycle begins. It is time to let your own light really shine, set new intentions. The moon will reach its invisible phase on August 16 at 9.38 UTC. In addition, it will be near its farthest point from Earth, making it a micro new moon. The new moon is not visible because it is not lit up by the sun, and it also rises close to the sun, getting lost in its glare. So like any other new moon night, a micro new moon night, is a good night to look at the stars in the Milky Way. The new moon can have effects upon us similar to that of a full moon, especially just before it is new in the dark phase. So if you are feeling a little weird, headachy, or struggling with mood and sleep, blame it on the moon. It really is a good time to begin new things. Rise and shine at your perfect time. From ReikiButterflies.co.uk and from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Meg Benedict. Today's August 16th new moon in Leo, sun and moon conjoin at 23 degrees Leo, forms a grand earth trine with Mars, Pluto, and Uranus. The powerful Leo new moon is also conjunct Venus, providing divine feminine influence in our relationships with others and self. New moons initiate new beginnings, opportunities, and course corrections. In Lion, Lioness, Leo, the new moon heralds a new leadership style of heart-centered, conscious collaboration. The Lion's Gate activations continue to ripple through the field, leaving a permanent impression in the collective psyche. Leo's solar radiance brings all into the light. How has it affected you? What has been revealed in the past two weeks? What is shifting or completing? I have been noticing an emphasis on deeper extraction from the old matrix power system. In my healing work, it energetically appears like we are entangled in a dark shadow web or spider's nest. Several times since the lion's gate I awoke from deep sleep with visions of the dark web near me and had inflamed spider bites. I applied the quantum vortex to spin the web matrix away from my field. Archangel Metatron encourages us to pull all our energy out of the dark web and into our soul's pillar of light. It is a gradual shift from the old, hierarchical operating system to the new, circular operating system. I've been proceeding with the extraction process for years at the quantum level. The system override has finally hit my 3D physical life. Since Lionsgate, all my business and financial accounts were hacked. I had to close everything and start over with new accounts and the new operating system. A clean sweep, moving my entire life into my soul pillar and the new earth operating system. Today's Leo New Moon, Grand Earth Trine, is making it real. Making it 3D earth bound. The shift is showing up in our human lives. As you move your energetic inflow into your soul pillar, you start to exist outside the ripple effect of the 3D matrix power system. It is liberating. It is paving the way for conscious leaders to illuminate the pathway home. From NewEarthCentral.com And today from Here in the Moon Astrology, Wednesday, August 16th, 2023, we all have and have had hard knocks, truly gutting ones, yet many do not speak of them. 
They are busy making new life. Do likewise, Clarissa Pincola Estes. Together the two August superfull moons and today's alchemical Leo New Moon conjunct Venus retrograde and Black Moon Lilith are rewiring your internal communication network, making your high heart your new modus operandi. It's way past time to shift from being a seeker and consumer to becoming a creator. The fires together, wires together. Neural pathways dynamic integrates the heart-mind separation. If the brain is the radio's receiver, then the heart is the dial, tuning the radio to the frequency of your choice. Everything starts with you. Everyone has to walk the path of evolution and do their own emotional work. You have a unique imprint, template, merkaba, and DNA in which you evolve through time. There is no one size fits all. Your thought stream becomes your life stream. Refuse to get stuck in woundology, victimology. Create your scar coat and your map of heartbreak crosses, then leave them behind. Allow yourself to be guided by your emotional nature, your visual and symbolic self. Let go of control, of striving, of beliefs in struggle and lack, and just do the next right thing. Following the signals of your own sensory acuity, your big yes, big no, do whatever brings you to life. Follow your own fascinations, obsessions, and compulsions. Trust them. Create whatever causes a revolution in your heart. Live your maverick gifts instead of hiding them. Pioneer by carving new paths plus new maps of meaning. Everything happens according to your own unique cycles of incubate, ripen, create, retreat, regenerate. The dynamics feel slower different because you're no longer pushing or controlling until venus turns forward on september 3rd there's nothing to do be practice because things need time to evolve and ripen from here in the moon astrology.co.uk and today from divine fire astrology wednesday august 16th 2023 leo new moon 23 degrees 5.38 a.m. EDT. The new moon is one of empowerment and reclamation, and it's not cute nor quiet. There is absolutely nothing subtle about this new moon. Though it's at a distant and elusive point, this lunation is at apogee, the furthest point from Earth and moon's orbit, otherwise known as Black Moon Lilith. And Dark Moon Lilith is also tightly conjunct. Dark Moon Lilith is a hypothetical shadow body that is less acknowledged, less understood, far more subconscious, and is rarely necessary, but when she is, it's extreme. This is raw survival instinct at its worst and most seething. Uranus' planet of the unexpected squares the new moon to the degree, while Mars will trine Uranus today. Inflammatory? Yes but we can seize the opportunity to do something about it. Provocateur extraordinaire Eris is also trying the new moon, while the lunation also aspects the nodes of the north node, approaching its conjunction to Eris in September. All of this and Venus is still retrograde, and loosely conjunct the new moon, so there may be a turning point in whatever the Venus retrograde journey has in store as the moon engages the Yod to Pluto and Neptune, under which Venus stationed initially. And perhaps there is clarity now that we're past Kazemi. Relationships and resources are still under examination and restructuring, and this new moon is one that will not tolerate anything that would stand in our way. As with so much of the astrological influence of this year, change is imminent. And this is one more point along the path where we can harness the energy that we are under to work with it rather than against it. What are you seeking to create under this heart-centered and desire-driven new moon? And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Shannon Port. Leo New Moon, August 16, 2023, The Sacred Heart Portal. We are undergoing a deeply alchemical period in our human history. The goddess mysteries of the heart are returning to the planet 
to initiate and activate the powerful currents of the solar feminine dragon goddess. We are harmonizing the music of our hearts and our words with the music of the higher harmony of creation that is the living spirit buried in matter. This is the alchemy of the Christo Sophia that plays out in our love relationships, our friendships, our fertility and our relationship with the earth and the Holy Mother Spirit. We see these changes happening in our world before our eyes, aligning with the archetypal forces of the goddess as the Divine Mother Principle is one of the most beautiful ways to ride these waves of change with grace, wisdom, and the creative light of the soul, sending out blessings to all beings on the Leo New Moon. From artofthefeminine.com And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Tanya Gabrielle, Leo New Moon, Royal Star of the Lion. On August 16th, an extraordinary new moon in Leo activates a profound Leo Lion Code. This new moon has the sun and moon at 23 degrees Leo, which is quite extraordinary since 23 is the royal star of the lion number. The sun and moon will be square to Uranus, also at 23 degrees. Since it is 2023, another 23 is introduced into the code. Furthermore, Mars will be at 23 degrees moments after the Leo new moon, creating a gorgeous trine to 23 degrees Uranus. Wow, that makes five 23s, and 23 reduces to 5, 23 equals 23 plus 3 equal 5, making it five fives. Along with the courage, leadership, and confidence of 23, 5 adds adventure, freedom, exploration, quick decisions, excitement. As it happens, the sign of Leo also rules the fifth house in astrology. Love, Leo rules the heart in astrology. Light, Leo's ruling planet is the sun, a star. So the full message of the Leo new moon is, awaken to the love and light that you are. Sun and moon are conjunct Venus, activating a lovely, happy, effortless, pleasureful, and abundant energy. You feel free to generously share your heart. With the square from the new moon to Uranus and the August 16 date, there is also unpredictable energy. Meditate, get grounded, exercise, get extra rest, and know that everything is going to move pretty quickly. With this code, your intuition, your hunches are your best guidance. Apply the star code wisdom right away and experience what it means to step into the lion frequency with courage, passion, and love. Joyful blessings and love from TanyaGabriel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Wednesday, August 16th, we have the new moon at 23 degrees Leo at 5.38 a.m. Eastern Time. New moons are about new beginnings and setting intentions for a new cycle of energy. In Leo, this is about creativity, leadership, confidence, and self-expression. The new moon makes a challenging square to Uranus, the great awakener, who wants to liberate us from what confines us. Freedom is highlighted. Freedom from situations or patterns that are restricting our gift of love and light out into the world. Also on this day, we have Mars, the warrior, and a positive trine aspect to Uranus, ruler of the future. Mars likes to take action, but as he is in Virgo right now, the action he may be taking is to make a logical plan as to the next steps to take. The connection to Uranus can bring inspiration and revelations from a higher source as to what those next steps are. Mercury, the messenger, is starting to slow down in his home sign of analytical Virgo now, as he is getting ready to turn retrograde motion on August 23rd. On this day of the new moon, he is in an inconjunct aspect to Chiron, the wounded healer, bringing up old thoughts and perceptions that are still in need of reevaluation and healing. It may be easy to criticize or judge ourselves now for what we did or didn't do, which has brought us to the place that we are now. Allow Chiron the shaman to transform and transmute these energies to a higher vibration and let them go. 
This is an opportunity to initiate a new energy. Meditate, light a candle, say a prayer, and send out your most positive love and light-filled intentions and allow the universe to take care of the rest. Blessings of love and light to all from sacredsoulempowerment.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, New Moon in Leo, Sun in Leo Square Uranus in Taurus, Mars in Virgo trine Uranus in Taurus. It's an electric new moon. Disco lights pulse, inviting us to throw our arms wide and move to the rhythm of the music. But there are strange stutters and stops, odd jumps and patterns. Sparks fly, igniting curious connections. New beginnings are threaded with unexpected twists and turns. But still, sometimes we have to be brave, get out of our comfort zone. Dare to spin life's wheel and let the chips fall where they may. With the moon conjunct Venus retrograde and black moon Lilith, you can reconnect with what you love and refuse to let anyone else stifle your joy. Set the world alight with your creativity. Get into the game. Here is a jump start to confidence, an invitation to break the mold and share more of your glorious self with the world. Time to throw some glitter in the air and take a bold step towards your future. Flip the script. Improvise. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 195, Blue Cosmic Eagle. Cosmic is the name for the number 13, and its key words are transcend, endure, and presence. It's the last day of the blue night wave spell, and today we evaluate the journey and try to understand its lessons before moving on to the next, which is the yellow warrior. The thirteenth day is hard because there is so much to process. Depending on how intense the wave spell was for you, on the last day it's all being evaluated, and that is the enduring part. It's like cramming for an exam at the last minute. The pressure is on and there's so much to take in. It is a necessary process because you won't be ready for the next installment otherwise. Today is Blue Eagle which represents creativity, vision, and mind. Blue Eagle days are all about seeing the big picture. Step back and look at your life. What do you see? Consider all angles and vantage points before making any decisions today. And if you see any problems, use creative solutions to solve them. As today is the cosmic eagle, bearing that in mind, you may have to endure to see things from a higher perspective. Flying conditions are not ideal. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Cosmic Eagle, 13 Maine, Keen 195, 16th of August 2023. Transcending planetary mind, creating the dream, creating the greatest vision of them all. 16 8 2023 equals 7 8 7 equals 7 15 equals 7 6 equal 13 equal 4. 7 8 7 abundant source magic portal. Day code 16 tower struck by lightning, sudden unforeseen events. 7. Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Initiation. 13. Goddess, Cosmic Consciousness, Natural Lore, Synchronic Time. 4. Form, Structure, Earth, Angelic Foundation. Month Year Codes. 8. Infinite, Abundant, Source Flow. 15. Spiritual Alchemy, Charisma, Magnetism. 6. Heaven, Christ, Romance, Family, Fertility, Joy. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 2. Partner, Twin, Cooperation, Alliances. 23. Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection. Keen 195 equal 15 equal 6. Heaven, Christ Consciousness, Code. Today is a monumental day on a Cosmic Eagle Day with a Leo New Moon. We have incredibly clear vision in all directions. We can see for miles and miles. 360 degrees in seen and unseen realms throughout the cosmos. All is revealed. The veil of illusion has lifted. Get ready for more big reveals. Today is one expansive day of transcendental visions of our glorious new rainbow world. A huge wake-up call for humanity. The bells are ringing. 
And so we arrive at day 13, the final day in the blue night wave spell of dreams, intuition, and abundance, where we are collectively dreaming the new world into reality. Today, as we close this 13-day journey with Akbal, our intuitive and sensitive blue night, we have arrived at the point of pure presence of cosmic awareness. As we arrive at the peak of the highest mountain, we look around 360 degrees, and from our lofty platform, we can see through the eyes of the enlightened ones seeing the new world before us. Embracing the cosmic abundance and pure presence of Pachamama. Add some. We have arrived and see the bigger picture, envisioning a brighter future for our new world and all of Earth's inhabitants. It is time to create the dream. Tone of creation, cosmic is the last and final tone of creation. The highest octave. Tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm. 13 is the mystical number of the cosmic order, the goddess and synchronic natural time. Cosmic action transcends power indoors, essence presence. Cosmic is tone number 13, and today's code adds up to 134, the code for building new earth. We have a 1313 double cosmic code, giving us truly expansive visionary powers. Today we have incredible spiritual power at our disposal to transcend all lies and illusions, releasing the scarcity patterns and limited poverty consciousness and suffering where the old world and all its trappings dissolve into the cosmic mists. We can transform them by our pure presence, translating into pure bliss. We have arrived. Add some, I am here. This is the stage of having transcended the physical, emotional, and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness. Today we can be still and realize the connectedness of all things through the realm of the dream time, transcending all but the power of pure consciousness through the frequency of pure internal presence in our united dreaming. The great cosmic serpent is activating the great serpent in the sky to fuel our planetary grids and dreaming vision. Look up into the starry Milky Way skies and know that infinite creation exists through the miracle of your presence. The dreamers have awakened from their slumber. The new world has risen. Alleluia! A grand rising for humanity. Today's question is how can I fully awaken the dream within me and create the highest vision of peace, joy, and abundance for all beings on our beautiful planet through cosmic embodiment? And so we bid adieu to Akbal, the awakened dreamer, who has guided our journey through the abyss of our collective unconscious, uncovering the path to our greatest dreaming over the last 13 days transcending limitations to claiming our cosmic abundance that has always been available as our birthright and waiting for us to claim, bringing it forth into our new reality. We are still traveling through August, the eighth month of abundance, and have been imbued with the lion's confidence and courage. The rainbow warriors can now claim their cosmic abundance. Tomorrow we commence a brand new wave spell with Keeb, the fearless rainbow warrior who will guide us to forge a new path to a beautiful new world as we achieve our collective quest. And so our journey through the dream spell continues. Divine blessings for your transcendence into pure cosmic abundance. Aho! In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 195. Blue Cosmic Eagle, the mantra the code for today is, I endure in order to create, transcending mind, I seal the output of vision, with a cosmic tone of presence, I am guided by the power of self-generation. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. 
And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly donations and pledges we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you could either make a monthly pledge or one-time donation. All the links are at egolovecondor.com. I'd like to thank the anonymous Divine Angel that sent us some Doge coins today. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your support. We'll now complete today's transmissions with a powerful Divine Decree for protection. Beloved Mighty I Am Presence, Beloved Archangel Mikael, Angel Commander Conrad, and those that minister to the first ray of protection, intensify your protective pillar of pure light substance in, through, and around me, my loved ones, and all constructive people, places, conditions, and things across the earth. Charge all with your invincible protection, all-powerful and impenetrable. See to it that I am invisible, I am invincible, and I am invulnerable to anything but the almighty perfection, and please give me, my loved ones, and all that is constructive on our earth, whatever added protection is needed. We thank you. Pause and visualize the tube of light, dazzling white, with electric blue radiance, three to four feet beneath and all around you, your loved ones, homes, and wherever else you choose to place the blue light of protection, that is, countries or continents, from imfree.co.za. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred new moon in Leo and rest of your week ahead as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.